Well, if you listen to all the leaders giving their press conferences right now, everybody won. Uh, and this is what always happens in European councils. During the council, they say, this thing would be an outrage if it happens to our country. But then at the end, it's in every leader's political interest to say they had a victory when they go home. Uh, so who really had a victory here? Well, President Macron was right in his speech that it, this is a historic moment for Europe. For the first time, the EU will collectivize debt. It will borrow on the international market markets as if it was a country using the credit of all 27 EU countries. That is uh, a big victory for Macron's vision of Europe and a big change to how the European worked. Uh, European Union works. But he also acknowledged that there are were frustrations in this process, and he very famously now vented those frustrations during this summit. He was very frustrated with the Frugal Four um, in the way that they were blocking the this idea. Uh, and But he said during this press conference just now that uh, he's disappointed, for instance, that they had to extend the Frugal Four's rebates to the EU budget. This is something that they actually wanted to get rid of. It was a tradition started by Margaret Thatcher that uh, EU countries that were net contributors would get budget rebates. The UK, of course, getting the largest one by far and the most famous. But other countries were also given them over the years. The EU wanted to end that after Brexit. Now it's not only ending, uh, it's not only not ending, but the rebates are actually growing. Macron said, uh, you know, I, I don't like that this had to happen, but if it meant getting that frugal four over the line, then it was worth it. He also noticed that Germany's rebate is not growing. Uh, and that seems to be the lesson here for countries. I mean, if you threaten to veto, you're going to be given goodies until you end your veto. Germany didn't threaten a veto, uh, and it didn't get goodies. Finland also, though it was flirting with the frugal four, it was never in the group, never threatened a veto, and Finland didn't really get any goodies either. Uh, so it's a kind of perverse incentive here also for the, the so-called illiberal two, Hungary and Poland. They were also given things in this budget. Changes were made uh, to not make funding of the Just Transition Fund uh, conditional on national national implementation of the 2050 climate goal for the EU. Also, provisions on tying funds to rule of law were uh, loosened uh, to Hungary's benefit. Um, so those two countries can also come out of this claiming victory. In the end, there's something here for everybody to come home and claim victory with, and that is the kind of European Council summit out, uh, outcome that leaders really like, because that's the most important thing for them politically. Dave Keating there talking to me earlier from Brussels.